Hey everyone, it's Chris from Flag House, and today I'm here with Colleen McCurry, and we're going to look at softy hockey. Softy hockey is a safe, fun way to introduce hockey skills, to develop eye-hand coordination and team play. So stay tuned because Colleen's got some great activities using softy hockey coming up next on the Flag House Activity Channel. Today we're going to be doing softy hockey. This is a great stick with the foam padding. It helps us work on eye-hand coordination and it's a great lead-up game to floor hockey. So let's just talk a little bit about the equipment before we, before we start shooting, right? So two hands on the stick, right? Um, most important thing for safety, right? I know it has a foam tip on it, but it doesn't mean you can bonk anybody with it. It would still hurt. So you want to make sure that you keep your stick low. So as you're manipulating your stick, you want to make sure that anytime you come behind the ball and make contact, that you roll your wrist over just to keep your stick low, right? Your goal is for your stick never to come above your height, the waist of your height. As you're doing the obstacle course, your goal will be right to manipulate the ball so that you have to go in and out of your cones. When you get to the end, after you've gotten all the way through, you're going to come behind your ball and be able to take a shot going underneath the cones. You're going to retrieve your own ball and then you're just going to jog back. Good. Using both sides of the stick. Good. Careful. Watch the traffic. And keep dribbling it back. This activity is called, um, it's softy pass and go. So one person is going to stay in the hoop while the other person finds another hoop to move to. So for example, if Leah's gonna stay, then Bryn is gonna go find another hoop to go to. She's gonna jog out, she's gonna get to the hoop, she's gonna call for the pass, then you're gonna pass it. As soon as Leah makes the pass, if Bryn's able to stop the pass with at least one foot still in her hoop, then they get a point for that. Then Leah needs to go find a new hoop to go to. She'll call to her partner for the pass. They'll make a pass, she'll stop it, and then Bryn will go on the move. Stick low and follow through, trap the ball. Trying to make a pass, good. Stop it, drop it. Oh, so take a turn, that's all. So you just one at a time or share the hoop. So now, instead of having a goal, your job will be to try to keep your pins up. So when you enter this part of the activity, you might have to decide, do I want to stay back and try to be a defender or am I going to try to be an offensive player? We're going to have all different types of balls that are out and your, your goal will be to protect yours, um, but at the same time, trying to knock down the pins of the other team. Keep your stick low, right? Stick slow, you gotta keep them below the waist. There you go, better. You can go anywhere, you do, right? You can, you can go anywhere. You can go anywhere in the gym on the move. You don't have to stay behind the cones. How many people have ever played a game like sideline soccer where you call players in from the sideline? Okay, great. So your job, if your number is not called, your job is just to stand along the sideline and try to keep the ball from going behind you, right? You can't come out and step out and play it, but your job is just to keep your stick low and just try to protect the ball from going behind the line. You're gonna get two numbers called out at a time. So when I call one, both of you are gonna come out to make a play on the ball, okay? The red and purple team, you're shooting at that goal, okay? And the blue team, you're shooting at this goal. So your job is to try to is to try to be the first one in the group to be able to take control of the ball and shoot on the goal, right? Um, and we're just gonna call your numbers out. We'll give you about 10 seconds. Good, Galen, follow up. Watch the stick height. Watch out, you can keep it in play. You can't shoot, but oh, there you go. Good try, Hugo. Right, so that was an example of things that we could do with softy hockey. There's lots of great lead-up games that you can do with it that help you develop stick work and eye-hand coordination, right? Um, I, think I hear some of you breathing hard, right? A game like that is really gonna get you to work and you know, try to stay low and show that you can manipulate the ball. You did a great job. Thank you so much for checking out our videos. Please like, share, or drop us a comment, and you definitely wanna subscribe to our channel. We always have a new episode every Wednesday morning. Click these links for more videos or access to the Flag House Activity Guide page. See you next time.